Back when I started this channel, one of the first live events I ever went to for the channel was Garlic Fest, and that's when I did the Stephen Marley concert, which was like the first video on my channel to break 10,000, and then eventually I think 50,000 views. So I'm back at Garlic Fest for their 22nd year, now in 2021, and locations have moved over the years. This year it's in the city of Wellington, all the way west in Palm Beach County, and we're at Wellington Green Park. Oh, it's just that way. Open So I went ahead and ordered this one right here, the shrimp with Alfredo sauce, excellent. Yeah. So this was so popular, they sold out early. So it's gelato with garlic. I know a few years ago we tried ice cream with garlic, so now getting a little fancier with the gelato. So once you get your food, you can sit down in one of these two dining areas that they have. And they even have hand sanitizer. One thing I'm noticing is that the merch section is actually, in my opinion, much larger and really nice this year. So the food section is pretty big. It might be a little smaller than it's been in the past. Um, the RV section is definitely smaller, but the merchandise 
I think is bigger and better than it's been in past years. markings on the floor so that different groups can be socially okay. distanced so from other groups and stay sites. within your box. So we're going to be doing today. Interesting. Uh, anybody out there remember the 52nd Street album? And they're keeping the audience far from okay. the stage, this really is a far. Jazzy song like 100 right feet away. And uh, we like to feature Ronnie on this one. And this one is called Zanzibar. He wants some garlic. He's saying, let me have some uh, garlic fries. You want some garlic fries? Okay, so they don't have rides this year, but they do have like kind of a bounce fun house area for kids. A bungee section there, a bounce house, and a slide. And then they also have the sumo wrestling. They put on one of these big suits and uh, sumo wrestle somebody else. How many people think the song Uptown Girl was written about Christy Brinkley? The song was actually written about Elle McPherson. Yes, it was. And it was also originally titled Uptown Girls. Yeah. So I think that all worked out pretty good. Alright, so we're going to set this one out to all the Uptown Girls, and uh, I want you guys to sing along. Are you ready? So each year at Garlic Fest, you usually have a whole bunch of RVs. So this year, it's <laughs> just one. But it's smaller than other Garlic Fest, but it's better than it being canceled. Right, 
you have for a max. Okay, then you're going to hold your brother's hand, and you're going to be lost. Yeah, bye! Okay, Chase, what do you want to follow? Okay. Do you see the pocket? I did it both colors. And if you get the munchies after that, grab your food and go sit down here in the dining tent. They have English style toffees here. You like to try some? Okay, I'll try. Sure, thank you. Okay. So this is what kind? Kettle cashew coffee. Very good. Crunchy, very tasty. Excellent. So there actually is a guy every year that dresses up in the garlic outfit. I've never seen him whenever I come to Garlic Fest. And uh, they show him in all the different promotional things and uh, Instagram. So one of these days I'm going to find him and get a video of him. I like some of these shirts over here. If you're a fan of Rob Zombie's movies, you'll get that reference right there. House of a Thousand Corpses. What do we have here? Freddy. Let me know what you did by hitting that like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the notification bell. Yeah, I see I'm being... <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, oh, VMA Studios, man. We're the official photographers, man. Oh, Take okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, I get a 